So one of the most common questions right now, is Grotopia ending? No, no it's not, but there is a rollback, so let's talk about what that means and how that could possibly affect you. Stay tuned. Welcome everybody to another Gotopia video, and I know it's weird having another video like a day after I posted the last one. I don't usually do this, um, but something happened in between that last video and like a few hours just after that. Um, something came up, and like you've seen in the title, there is going to be a rollback, sadly. Now, I know from the last video, a lot of you guys um, were glad that I posted it, and we're looking to it for guidance on the issue. Um, and so this is kind of why I'm making this video, just for more of just an update on what's happening, especially since the servers have been down for hours. So basically in this video, I'm just going to go through what a rollback is and why it has happened and why the servers have been down for so long. So if we go to the Grotopia forums and the announcement section, this is where all the info is and all the updates are. Um, if you haven't seen this, it's on the forums. Uh, this is a long post, but I'm going to read it through really fast. This is from uh, Executee, one of the Ubisoft developers. Dear Grotopians, we have tried our best to avoid this, but due to the circumstances, we are forcing a rollback. After Seth and Namu's accounts were compromised and items were spread unfairly in-game, we encountered more issues which led to worlds being corrupted, making the game in inaccessible. However, the security of your accounts was not affected as the game's database wasn't accessed. The logs that have been circulating were coming from the beta version only and uh, they'll restore your accounts to the 10th of December, and it could take up to 24 hours. So that is the main difference in what happened between when I posted that last video and now, which if you haven't watched my last video, go ahead and watch that because it explains more in depth what happened. But basically, Seth and Mooma's accounts were compromised and people were in it giving items out and things like that. So what happened a few hours ago was the people in their accounts uh, caused worlds and data in the world to be corrupted and so the game was inaccessible and unplayable at that point um, so there basically is no choice but to roll back at this point before it definitely was possible to not have to do a rollback and just remove the items but now that uh, stuff in the logs were were messed with now it means a rollback is absolutely necessary now there may be a lot of you asking what exactly a rollback is and what it does and, and I know that's completely rational because we haven't had a rollback in a very long time. We've had three Ingratopi's existence so far. This is the fourth one. Um, and so Aimster had a really good post on Instagram about it. Um, here it is. A rollback is a reset button that takes Grotopia back in time to the last moment before any data was corrupted. Namely, the moment before some jerks corrupted accounts that weren't theirs and messed up the economy and other stupid stuff. Ubisoft's tech team has located a safer point in time, December 10th, and will set us up as if that is the current point in play. Rollbacks aren't scary, but they can be inconvenient to dedicated GT farmers and tradesmen. So what that basically means is anything you did between December 10th and the 12th is going to be completely erased and removed. So just forget any of that happened. We're basically going back in time, um, hence rolling back. And that's basically what happens. You lose all your farming and gems, your building, everything that you've done within those past two days. And that's why I said in the last video, this is definitely not something you want to happen because you're losing a lot of valuable playtime, especially if you played a while between those two days. Now, a lot of you may hate that. A lot of you may be glad that happened. But like I said, don't be mad at Ubisoft or the developers or anybody because this is something that absolutely has to happen or else the game will not be in a playable state. So just know that it has to happen and that they did everything they possibly could to try and avoid it. So now let's go back to the forum post because there still is a lot of information within this. So um, like it says, the process could take up to 24 hours. So that means the servers most likely will be up tomorrow, but that isn't proven yet. Um, they, I'm, I'm guessing they will be up tomorrow, but we'll just see then. 
And so, like it says, once it's over, the game data would be restored as it was in the date mentioned. That implies, unfortunately, all the progress done after that date will be lost. Your purchases won't be lost, however, and those gems will be re-added to your account. In fact, they will be doubled as compensation. So that's a good thing. For people who bought gems between the 10th and the 12th, you're going to have those purchases still in your account, but your gems will be doubled. And so, after the rollback, and the game is back, that means there's an apology event um, and you catch up on your lost progress and you get three things. You have an increased chance of getting gems and seeds while smashing blocks, so farming gives you more gems. Um, and then in-app purchases will give you 25% more gems. If you buy um, gems in the game, you get 25% more of those gems in that. And then the rollback plaque 4 will be available in-game for only this time. And so those are usually pretty cheap to splice. I think it was like a sign and cave background last time or something like that. And they're usually pretty cool blocks. I have all three of them still from uh, the past rollbacks and they do look really cool. And so the last few sentences in this, we would like to assure you that your account and passwords are secure. Do not hesitate to change them if you have any doubts or if you share them with anyone, but this information cannot be and was not accessed. We would also appreciate if, if you would not contact support at this point for further information and use this thread to discuss the rollback and yeah. We're sorry for the inconvenience caused and appreciate your understanding in the matter. So like it said, everybody's account is safe. There was no breach in accounts or passwords or anything like that. But if you feel your account is unsafe, you can always change that at any time through the GrotopiaGame.com official website. I'll have a link to that in the description below. So if you want to look at my past video, there's like seven or eight steps in how you can keep your account safe in Grotopia and just general internet safety. If you want to go look at that, it's in the it's in the last half of that video. And so also they do not want, it, want you to email support regarding this issue. Um, if you have other questions, then definitely email support. But about this and about uh, the matter, please do not email support because they're already getting enough emails already. And so that's really it regarding what changed between my last video and this video. So if you go back and watch that last video, I explain kind of the, the thing about why there isn't going to be a rollback, but because of this issue that happened within the past few hours with um, world breaches and things like that, then there has to be a rollback. And so after this rollback, what that means is basically the emerald locks that were spawned and the da Vinci wings and the phoenix wings that were untradeable, um, they're going to be in, the regu in their regular state. Um, there's not going to be duplicates or an infinite amount of those items in the game anymore because the game has been reverted back two days. And so yeah, you don't have to worry about that or having emerald locks in your inventory if you had that. Um, and so that's definitely not something you need to worry about. And also your account is perfectly safe. Um, really all that you lost in this is if you played from December 10th to the 12th, all that progress that you did is going to be completely lost and you're going to have to redo that. But the devs did put in some sort of compensation with this apology week to hopefully make up for it. I know it doesn't make up for all of it, um, but it does make up for some of it. So yeah, I hope that clears up a lot of the confusion that has happened regarding this event. I know a lot of people were asking questions um, about why they couldn't get into the game. Um, definitely check Grotopia's Twitter and the forums for more updates on it. And yeah, I hope the servers are up by the time this video is out. They probably won't be, um, but they will within the next few hours. And so yeah, if you have any further questions, leave them below. I'll try and answer as many as I can. I read every comment I get, um, and so if you put a comment down, I will definitely read it. I can't promise that I'll answer it, um, but I'll definitely read it. And guys, I just want everybody to know, none of this was Ubisoft's fault. I've seen a lot of people going out and attacking Ubisoft and the developers, and even us as mods. None of this was our fault. Um, a lot of the time, these things just happen, um, and you just have to try and make the best of it. And I think definitely Ubisoft has made the best decisions regarding a lot of the things um, that have happened with this incident. So please, <laughs> don't blame them for any of this. It's kind of been a crazy, like, past two or three days, I know. Um, but things will most likely be back to normal once the servers are up tomorrow or the next day. Um, and so just look forward to that. Also, Winterfest is very soon. Um, I predict it coming within like the next week or two, um, and so that should be fun. And so yeah, Grotopia is kind of in a weird state right now. 
Um, but it's been awesome seeing the cooperation and just the talks and the friendliness that we've had with all of you guys in the community um, throughout this process. So thanks for that. Also, a YouTuber by the name of Obunaga GT. Um, I'm not sure if I said that right, but it's on the screen now. He made an outro for me. It's going to be at the end of this video. I'll have this one and my old outro. You can compare the two. See which one you like better. He has a full drawing up on his channel. I'll leave a link to that below as well. The quality of the outro that I have from him right now is really low, but I will have a higher quality outro um, from him in the next videos. And so yeah, let me know what you think of that. Also, I have a lot of cool plans for future videos with Facecam. Um, I'm thinking of other games as well. And so yeah, let me know what other games you'd like me to play. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for the support. On the last video, it got like 40,000 views in like 12 hours, which is insane. And so yeah, thank you. Shadow Surfer out. See ya.